Hey guys, Casey in Missoula, Montana with Straight Six Archery here with another gear breakdown. Today we're going to talk about sights and what is going to be the best sight for your hunting application. As you can see, there's a lot of different options and I'm going to show you a few of our favorites. Uh, first off, we'll start with, you got to decide whether you want to go fixed sight or mover sight. What I mean by that is, is like a Black Old Rush or a Fuse Vectrix XT. Those are stationary five pin sights. There's nothing to them. They're very simple, very lightweight. Uh, you can get a three pin, five pin. Typically your top pin is going to start at 20 and your bottom pin is going to end at 60. So 20 through 60 on the fixed five pin sights. Now that's going to be for guys that aren't going to shoot over 60 yards. Even when they practice, 60 is going to be your longest shot. 30 to 40 is going to be your longest hunting shot. I'm going to point you in the direction of this. These are specific questions we ask the consumer when you come into our place. We say, what are you going to hunt? How far is your shot going to be? Are you going to be from a tree stand? We ask that also. Because every site you see here that we offer here at Straight Six Archery is going to have first, second, and third axis adjustment. It's going to be super important for uphill and downhill shots, and I'll explain that right now. So this is an Otter Pop and a water bottle, but we're going to pretend that it's the bubble level, that bubble level right here in your sight. Now I've got a Matthews Vertex right here. I've got a Prime behind me. All of these bows, PSE, Bowtech, they're all going to have torque inside of the riser. Now what you're going to want to do is take the torque out of the riser by adjusting third axis. Second axis is east and west. Third axis is like a swinging door. If you're on level ground, you're never gonna know that your third axis is off until you shoot downhill, and I'll explain that right here. So my arms are gonna play the role of a bow. This is gonna be your level in a bow sight. So I'm gonna go to full draw, and I'm gonna put a little torque in the, in the uh, riser of the bow, and now I'm gonna take a downhill shot. So you can clearly see that your bubble level is off. So if you try to compensate for that while you're at full draw downhill, you're off and you're going to miss to the left or to the right, depending on where it's at. So if I come back up and I think I'm level, look at my third axis. I'm not level. So everything in here, very important, is going to have third axis adjustment. You want to make positive that you do this on a plumb bob line at full draw with the shooter. And you never want to do it in a hooter shooter machine or just do it on some device on the counter. You have to do it to the specific shooter's grip or else it's not going to work. Every one of these sites has that. Second axis is always going to be important for moving sites as well. So I'll move from left to right real quick. We got the Montana Black Gold Verdict, which is what I currently have on my, on my Matthews bow. That one is going to be a fixed five pin sight with the option to dial. Now you can loosen that wheel on the backside and just roll from your tape from there, which we build custom tapes here. Very popular one from Spot Hog is going to be the Fast Eddie XL. This is a double pin pointer. These pins are fixed. Typically, they'll line up at about 20 and somewhere in the 35 to 40 range, depending on the speed of your bow. But beyond that, you can loosen the toggle down below and roll this on a gear to your specific yardage, and it does come with yardage markers on the outside. Another option from Spot Hog is the Fast Eddie. This is a five pin, just like the Montana Black Gold Verdict. And then our last option, which is really, really cool, is going to be from Option Archery. This is going to be the, the option four and six. What's awesome about this site is you have the ability to open and close the housing to go fixed, or you can open the housing and go mover, and your mover pin is on a worm gear, moving just the individual pin, not the housing, such as Spot Hog and Montana Black Gold do. Very quiet, very sleek. These guys are made in Plains, Montana. By Dan Evans, this guy is a genius when it comes to gear. Close that up. You can move your individual pins, or if you want to stretch the yardage, you can put your yardage tape right here, move it all the way out, and open the housing so you just have a single pin housing. Pretty phenomenal sight, but that's our sight lineup so far from Straight Six Archery here. We've got everything to cover you from A to Z if you're going to hunt tree stand 20 yards or you're gonna go to total archery challenge and poke 140 yard foam so come in and get us checked out and we'll set you up at the perfect site for you